The four main contenders, everyone's had a taste of it. Kyle Walker, 13 in two different positions. Kieran Trippier used in four different roles uh, for his country. Trent Alexander-Arnold has played eight times, five at right back, three at wing back. And Rhys James, just three caps so far, all though have come this season. So as, as, the, as the, the right back who's played for England more times than anyone else, Gary, um, give us your idea of the strengths that each of those candidates bring to that role. If we were picking it off just who is the most talented player, Alexander Arnold would go straight in the team. He's absolutely exceptional. And his attacking stats, to be fair, if you look at them, you know, he's, he's absolutely brilliant in terms of his passes into the final third. Um, you know, he creates loads of chances, as Kara said. His assists are off the scale. He's an exceptional player going forward. So this is the most talented player, the best going forward in the squad. At the other end of the scale, what you've got over here is probably the best one-on-one -on -one defender, you know, he's like a leech, Wambasaka. However, what I would say is about those two, if you're playing against Liverpool, there is probably an element of the team talk, the opposition's team talk being attack Trent. And if you're playing against Manchester United, there'll be an element of let's leave Wambasaka on the ball. In fact, you can see it. Teams are leaving him on the ball because he's weak on the ball. What you've got in the middle are, I suppose, more balance, more experience. Bet he's the best probably defender in terms of defensively and going forward, and pace, and experience. So he's the one that Gareth Southgate will trust the most, Kyle Walker. Uh, he does make mistakes, but we all make mistakes. But he has become someone who can play right centre-back, right back in a back four. He's the most valuable to Gareth Southgate because he does change between those two systems. And I think he is an absolute must that he'll go in the summer. Trippier is an interesting one. So where Trippier fits in, I think he's brilliant on set-piece delivery. I think he served Gareth Southgate well. He's played in a tournament before and got experience. He play, I think he understands the wing-back role, right-wing-back role, better than the others. And he's got England to a World Cup semi-final. So, to me, they're his strengths. And he's playing now at Atletico Madrid under a fantastic manager who usually has a great defensive way of playing. James is an interesting one in the sense that really talented. Um, I like him a lot. He's got a bit more physical attribute than Alexander Arnold. I don't think he's quite got the delivery of Alexander Arnold, even though he's got a great delivery. Um, I think he's probably more suited to being a better defender because I think he can get his arm across. He's stronger. He might be bigger at the back post. I mean, from Carragher saying that basically no one wanted to grow up to be a Gary Neville, we've come a long way. <laughs> the, <laughs> the role's changed a little bit. Honestly, though, hasn't it? we've got hundreds of them here. I can't even work it out how many we've got. So we've got five right backs, and Gareth Southgate is in a position whereby. It's unbelievable we've got that many talented right-backs to, to pick from. And I can see the conundrum and the challenges that Gareth Southgate's got. All right, let's get to the nub of it. Should Gareth Southgate be taking Trent Alexander-Arnold? Yes, he's, he's a unique talent. He's not the same as any other fullback. And, and I talk about, I've seen before, most fullbacks, even the attacking ones you've mentioned there, the greatest ones going forward, it's up and down in a straight line. He's a playmaker. You can talk about maybe players coming up against him, but the own players, his own players in that team, Harry Kane, Raheem Sterling, whoever else is on that back post, they will want that man on the ball in that position more than anybody else in this country. So that was the Nations League uh, final playoff, wasn't it? That was in, uh, in Portugal, and yeah. we were at uh, Porto for the final, and that was the, the playoff for the semi-final, which yeah. you were at. So you, you've seen that performance. You've seen Trent Alexander do that, do that in an England shirt. So why would Gareth Southgate not be including him? I don't think he will include him. I think that leaving him out in the March, April friendlies are a precursor to leaving him out in the summer. I don't think he would have just dropped that bomb. So I think he's getting everyone used to the fact that this incredible talent is maybe not going to a tournament. Unless Walker gets injured or Trippier gets injured or James gets injured, etc. And the reason that I don't think he'll go is I alluded last season a number of times when I was watching Trent Alexander-Arnold in the most exceptional Liverpool team in an unbelievable season for Trent Alexander-Arnold that there will come a point whereby if he doesn't become a little bit more serious about his defending and he doesn't be, get that intensity into his game, gets low, gets aggressive, stops crosses, stops shots on goal, stops people scoring in his area, that eventually there'll come a point, that question that Jamie asked before, am I getting enough from him that way to what would be cover what I'm losing that way? And Gareth, I have to say, I trust him implicitly with this England squad. I trust him implicitly with, for a number of reasons. Is, Gary, is that not his challenge as a coach, though? He must be watching him in a Liverpool shit thinking, how can I get that I, in an I, England shit? Is that not his challenge as look, a coach? what I would say is as a coach, he gets very limited time to work with him. 
Gareth Southgate, to be honest with you, has promoted more young players, under-21 players, than any other coach I can ever remember. He actually, it's his system, he believes in it. He's worked with the under-21s. All these players have come through. So he's not, we've not got a coach who you would say, oh, he's just going for the experience. Our manager that we've got at this moment in time believes in promoting those under-21 players, those young players. So actually, first thing is, is it, is it a, oh, it's just an old coach. You know, it's a, it was, it was levelled at, Spe- at Sven, it was levelled at, um, at Fabio Capello. Ah, they're, they're dismissing the young... T- Roy man- Yeah, this, well, no, it's a fair right, we pick young players. <laughs> this manager's doing this, he's picking the young players. So that's number one. Secondly, he's been to so many tournaments as a player... He's got England to a World Cup semi-final. He's the only living manager that has got England to a World Cup semi-final. And he's got to win one-off games that will be decided in moments. And it'll be decided in moments. Simple as that. And I always think back to when I watched Alexander-Arnold, the opposition manager will think, attack down that side. So there's a number of things. One, you look at Liverpool's back left left side of their defence. Robertson benefits hugely from that Van Dijk partnership that he's got. Trent Alexander-Arnold hasn't got his Van Dijk on that side. He's always got a changing partner. I had Steve Bruce when I first got into the United team, managing me, controlling me, almost on like a joystick, be here, be there. I don't think he's got anybody, to be fair, who's actually doing that with him, um, who's really controlling him on that side of the pitch. So where he charges forward on Saturday, that's just a centre-back saying, hang on, Trent, stay, stay. That's information. Go, stay, go, stay. So he's not got that. That's number one. The second thing is, he has to become more serious about his defending. And if I just look at this... This is where Liverpool's goals have been conceded this season. And there's a lot in his area compared to that small little bunch over there. Now, obviously, we don't know how those goals have been conceded, but Rio Ferdinand used to say one thing to me before I went out on the pitch before every game. Nothing down our side. Nothing down our side. And it used to be a... It would be an insult if a cross went in, if a shot went in from our side, if a goal went in. And it did, obviously, there were goals we conceded. But we had to stop their attack down that side. So I'm saying to myself, a one-off game in a tournament, a quarter-final, a semi-final, and then I'm saying to myself, who are England going to be playing? They're going to be playing Germany. They're going to be playing Belgium. They're going to be playing France. They're going to be playing Portugal. Who's he going to be playing against? Hazard, Mbappe, Sané, Jota, Ronaldo. Who do they want to play against? James, Walker or Trent? They'll say, I'll let Trent go forward. He'll leave space in behind me. I'll have Trent. Well, you're making the case for him not going. Would you not take him? No, I personally would take him. Hang on, you've just made the biggest no, case no, I've ever heard no, in my life for the I, reason why he wouldn't go and why Gareth Southgate's asked, not picking him. Did you listen to the question I was asked? I was asked the question, why would Gareth not take him? So I'm answering that question. You take Trippier ahead of him? I've just been asked the question, why would Gareth Southgate not take him? Well, I'm, I'm asking you. Question. I'm asking I, you. I, I, You're I, right back. Let me finish the answer to the first question. We might not right. have time. So That's my point, a big question. My, what would you do? Forget Gareth Southgate. My point is, I'm thinking if he's playing against Mbappe, Hazard, Sané and Ronaldo or Jota in a semi-final of a tournament this summer, who does Gareth Southgate want out on that pitch? Who does I, Gary Neville want? I've been asked a different question. We'll come to that one. Oh, honestly. Give me a break. <laughs> I think the reason he won't take him is because he's, he's there to win a tournament and I think he'll trust the players that are, like Walker, Trippier in a back three or with a wing back, maybe James because he's got more power and strength to handle an Mbappe or Ronaldo, and I don't think he will take him. If, if right. you All pick right. T- Kieran Trippier ahead of Trent Alexander-Arnold, that's embarrassing.